This is Reese McCluskey. <laughs> Mark lost his job. <laughs> and hello to you too, Zeb. What happened? <laughs> Some dispute with the boss's son. What's he doing now? <laughs> He's working. At McRonald's. Wow, that's great. They were hiring fifty thousand people, and they got a million applicants. It's harder to get into McRonald's than Harvard. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I wouldn't worry about him. Mark always seems to land on his feet. The roof is leaking. I want you to clean the floor again. Get down on your knees. Called me at work today. She was very upset. Nothing trivial, I trust. No, Mark lost his job. He quit or got fired or something. Oh, that is serious. Calls for a serious drink. How about one for your bad self? This is no time for jokes. When will that start exactly? Because I don't want to miss it. Mark's working at McRonald's. Isn't that their problem? He's underqualified. How is he supposed to support a wife and kids on that salary? Why is that their problem? Aren't you upset? No, I'm happy. Why? At least you won't be at McRonald's scarfing down burgers and fries. Quiet, you. What happened at his other job? Well, the boss hired his own son right out of college. And Mark thought he should have gotten that job, so he tries to have a conversation with the new guy who was asleep in his office. So what you're saying is Mark did him some talking to the son, and he said he didn't like the way he got things done sleeping on the job. Now raindrops are falling on his head. Yes. How do you get fired from the mortgage business? I thought the more you screwed up, the bigger bonuses you got. Hey, maybe he caused the whole subprime mortgage crisis. The whole system failed. But there had to be a tipping point. Somewhere, sometime, someone got a little too greedy once too often and pushed the whole economy off a cliff. That's ridiculous. And I bet it went something like this. Holy mackerel! I can't afford no McMansion like this. No, that's the whole point. Now you can. Didn't Mark quit his college football team because he didn't like the way they got things done? Yes. So? Still took him five years to graduate, though. What's your point? Goes towards pattern of behavior, Your Honor. I'll allow it, Counselor, but it better be good. And didn't he quit junior achievement in high school because he didn't like the way they got things done? I suppose. And didn't he quit Boy Scouts because he didn't like the way they got things done? I guess. And didn't he quit Little League because he didn't like the way they got things done? Yes. Is there a point here? Just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed, nothing seems to fit. What? But there's one thing I know: the blues he sends to meet me won't defeat me. It won't be long till happiness steps up to greet me. Crying's not for me, 'cause I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining, because I'm free. Mark, actually, it's Mike. You know me from working here seven years longer than anybody else. I had to lay off Manny the handyman. No, not Handy Manny. What is wrong with you today? You've broken my spirit. Really? No, but I'm pretending you did until I can make a break for it, like Cool Hand Luke. Remember what happened to him. Hi, Sugar Bear. How was your day? The pointy-haired boss laid off Handy Manny. Oh no! I know, right? I'm afraid to go on vacation next week. Do you want to cancel our trip to London? Are you insane? We moved here from Cleveland so you could take this job. 
What'll happen if you get laid off? Woohoo! Two years of doing nothing but collecting unemployment compensation? How great would that be? Wait, did I say great? I meant horrible. Hi, Deb. Hello. Ain't you gonna ask me how my day went? <sighs> How'd your day go, Mark? Pretty good. Ah, what, what the hell is that? I got a promotion. To what, ass clown? Look, maybe I can get a job. The pharmacy on the corner has a standing offer. No, you belong here. Cooking and cleaning and marketing and dressing the kids and driving in the carpool and doing the laundry and washing the dishes and mowing the lawn and paying the bills and doing the gardening and taking out the garbage and having sex with me. No wife of mine is going to work. I'm going to kiss the kids goodnight. Actually, it's Mike. You remember me from working 16-hour days and being paid for eight? Are you wondering why I called you here at eight o'clock in the morning on a Monday? Not really. Probably you guessed we're going to have to lay you off. Lay me off? Seriously? Barack Obama has ruined the economy. You email me on Friday night and tell me to meet you here on Monday morning. It ruined my weekend because I worried that you would trump up some excuse to fire me so I wouldn't get unemployment. You couldn't just tell me in the email? But that's so impersonal. Yeah, and this is such a treat to see your ugly puss one last time. Hasta lumbago, you old fart knocker. Before you go, would you sign this? What is it? I want my money. What money? This turns all proceeds from your retirement account over to me. Oh, you want my money? You mean the account that you paid my deferred compensation into? That account? You want me to just sign it over to you? Sure. Hmm, let me think about that. No. You're fired. Too late, fuck knuckle. I've recorded this whole conversation on my phone. You know, there's an app for that. What am I supposed to do with this form? I'm going to show you. But first, let me write down the name of a really good doctor. He treated my brother-in-law. Hi, Sugar Bear. How was your day? Great. I got laid off. Now I get a nice long vacation. Be serious. I am serious. Do you have any idea how long it's been since I had a vacation? Yes. Less than a week. Really? Seems a lot longer. So you're out of work? No, they gave me a job as a busboy. Really? No. Oh, good. That would have put us into a higher tax bracket. I'll handle the jokes. You're going on unemployment? <laughs> You're damn skippy. You, who don't believe in charity? It isn't charity. It's called unemployment insurance. No taxes are used. Employers pay into the fund. It's supposed to keep unscrupulous companies from, say, hiring someone away from a job in another state only to cast him aside when he's no longer needed. How's that working for you? I didn't say it was perfect. Two beers, bartender. I'll have two beers, too. <sighs> Dude, your wife makes more money than you. Yeah, so? It's like you're mooching off her. Well, I don't get money from my daddy like you. That's different. It's like you're a kept man. Yes, and your wife is an unpaid cook, dishwasher, maid, housekeeper, laundress, personal shopper, administrative assistant, nanny, wet nurse, whore. So? It'll be twenty six fifty. You got this? You have deep pockets, but arms like a thalidomide baby. <laughs>